All right, that's my new resistance um, decade box. Um, it's got one one million hundred k ten one hundred ohms ten ohms one ohm, and then you've got two million um, all the way down. Um, so you've got one, two, three, and four, and then multiple. Or, yeah, one, one, two, three, and four, and then multiples all the way up. And you can switch them in and out of circuit, depending on what reference resistance you need for whatever you're doing. Uh, it's one percent um, accuracy, I think. So we'll uh, the old multimeter on there. That's really 0.3 ohms, which is what I think the basic. It's probably between the cables and you know back um, just the resistance of the circuit. You know, so it's one ohm, ten. So you've got 11 and the 0.3. As you get higher up, that 0.3 will make less difference. Um, Hundred. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, so on. Um, so if you wanted, say, two hundred and three um, kilo ohms for some reason, you could set it, set it to that with these two switches, and. Uh, there you go. 203.6. I mean, we could probably um, get it a bit nearer. There you go. Depending on what you set it to. Yeah, so for about £60, or I suppose about $90. I guess. Um, seems pretty good value for money, really, for what I want. Oh, that's the manufacturers and the model number, but if you go on online and just go, go on Google Images and put in Decade Box, you'll get a picture of this. Something similar. There's another one that come up with a different make, but it's the same thing. It just looks like it's got a different label on there. It's probably cheaper in the States anyway, most things seem to be. Don't know where it's made. This is on the back. Made in Taiwan. Well, that'd be better than being made in China anyway. It's probably reasonable quality if it's made in Taiwan. They seem to be making some pretty good stuff.